Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I am going to be reviewing an autobiographical manga by Nagata Kabi and that is My Pancreas Broke But Life Got Better. This is the cover of the book and the author of this book has also written My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness which is a book I'm familiar with but have not read so I think she had some success with that particular uh, book. So this is what the cover looks like. It has a very distinctive orange and black cover and before I get into this I do want to say that if alcohol, alcohol abuse, and eating disorders are things you don't want to hear about then this is not the book for you and this is not the review for you so this is your warning to go enjoy one of my other hundreds of book reviews on my channel. So as mentioned this is autobiographical and this book, this manga, recounts the author's struggle with alcoholism and alcohol abuse and her idea and struggle to get clean, also which coincided with the coronavirus pandemic of 2020. So kind of two very difficult things to deal with at once, laid out in a very personal and moving way in this book. So first I'm just going to briefly discuss the plot, although it may seem kind of self-evident, and then I'll discuss maybe some thoughts and feelings about this book as well. So the title, My Pancreas Broke But Life Got Better, is discussing the particular problem that led to the author to realize that she really needed to get her drinking under control. Although I do think there's some other factors in her life that indicated that maybe perhaps she was drinking too much. She starts the story with her in the hospital with her second bout of pancreatitis, which was something I wasn't really familiar with before reading this book, but it sounds horrific. So it's a very painful process. My understanding is somehow the pancreas gets inflamed or disturbed. It can be um, caused by severe or chronic heavy alcohol use, but I believe there's other issues that may cause it as well. And then we move back in time in this book to show how the author became to rely on alcohol so much. I have not read her other autobiographical works, which seem to maybe explain some of the uh, other struggles the author has had in her life, but it sounds like she was kind of a lonely, isolated young woman, and she received a lot of success that she talked about after writing My Lesbian Experience with Loneliness, which was a discussion of her um, having a first-time sexual experience with a lesbian escort service. That is my understanding. Again, I have not read the book. This led to her having some success as a person and feeling like she was worth something in life, but also caused a lot of pain for her parents. But at this point, she feels like she can exist in the world as an adult, and she feels like this is... This is something to be proud of. She's accomplished something. And so she starts drinking and she almost has this pairing of drinking, being allowed to be an adult in the world, and all this gets mixed together. And very quickly she begins to rely on alcohol to function. Need to go see friends, drink a little. Drink a little in the morning, drinking a little at night, drinking throughout the day. And it quickly becomes a 24-7, 365 habit. She can't not drink. And that is, of course, a problem. Um, she also, well, during this time is struggling with an eating disorder. So this is something that we understand has been going on for a while, but it isn't getting better. And of course, alcohol, the alcohol abuse is not helping. And as she goes through various attempts to get sober and concludes with maybe a more successful attempt to get sober, she is discussing the challenges that she's facing throughout her journey. So it's not a very clean journey throughout, as in it's not a nice it's autobiographical. It's not a nice, neat plot line that has beats and then concludes and wraps up. It, at the very end, goes into some of the author's struggles. Things are not perfect. There's still bad days. There's still good days. She has to talk about, <coughs> excuse me, some of the downsides of being sober, some of the things that she can't use to cope with things, some of the negatives, like losing interest in a lot of things in her day-to-day -day life. So... This overall, I think, was a very moving book because I think it takes a lot of strength to discuss a problem that you're having so publicly. To discuss a struggle like this so publicly, I think, takes a lot of courage. Clearly, the author has some experience with this, having written my lesbian experience with loneliness. But I do think that it takes a lot of courage to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, talk about something like this publicly, especially when your name's going to be attached to it, and talk about all of the really minute struggles and the the serious side effects. She, she gets really detailed about some of the horrible things her body experienced when going through pancreatitis. And to write again and again about failings, failing to be sober, running away from treatment, running away from opportunities. And she's she seems to be quite aware that some of these things are destructive, but unable or unwilling, I should say un, unable to stop herself from doing this. <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing so much. Irrelevant to the overall story, I do have to say I like the art style. It was that distinctive orange and black. I'll just show you a couple scenes, make sure they're not too bad. 
but I think the art style was very moving and good. The author was able to inject a little bit of humor as much as you can into a story like this. I think it's a very powerful story and I think she's able to kind of approach some of these with a little bit of humor. So you can see she has a little bit of a humorous outlook, but overall this is a very difficult story. I like that she kind of, and I don't know if the right word is anthropomorphized, she had her symptoms be little creatures like this. And so we have pain as like this little bouncing ball, which I felt like was a really good demonstration of the pain that she was going through and I really liked this. I mean liked it. I would not wish any of these symptoms on anybody of course but I like the way that she did that for the purposes of this book. I did like that and overall I think this was a very um, important and powerful book to read. I do think it's not for everyone obviously if you don't want to read about alcohol um, abuse, if you don't want to read about eating disorders, if any of that is not your cup of tea, not what you want to read in your free time, then yeah, this is probably not the book for you. But I really appreciate and respect the author putting this story out there. I think it's probably something that more people than want to admit go through. And she's being very open with, about her struggle and about her journey with alcohol and how she decided that she needed to be sober. And it may be an inspiration to a lot of other people. If you've read this book, have any thoughts on it, please put it in the comment section below. I'd love to receive your comments and all of your support. I'm really appreciative and thankful of it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.